All right, so here's my uh, my uh, park tool um, bicycle scale. This thing weighs up to I think 50 pounds. It's meant for weighing a bicycle. And here's the uh, the two batteries. One is the uh, the uh, anti gravity lithium battery, 240 amps, cranking amps. And the other one is the stop battery. 120 cranking amps, you know, lead, lead acid, PB, right? PB is lead. Uh, let's see how much they weigh. Uh, so I've got some zip ties on them. So that's how I'm holding it. So they're both the same size zip ties. So that way you can't say, oh, I cheated and added a couple grams because, it, or took up away a couple grams because of the zip tie. So let's look at the stock one. The stock, um, stock one first. 512, 5 pounds, 12 ounces. Let's do that one more time. Yeah, 5 pounds, 12 ounces. So 5 pounds, 12 ounces. That's almost 6 pounds. Almost 6 pounds. Let's look up the uh, lithium one. 113. So that's 4 pounds difference. 12, was it 512? 512 is 113. That's uh, four pounds. So there you go. I just save, I'm gonna save four pounds off the bike. So remember this bike is, has no ABS, right? No ABS, no ABS. Uh, curb weight is 313. Take away four is 309. So it'd be, I'm gonna have 309 pounds. Um, yep. So there's that. So let's look at the two. Uh, there is a size difference, you know, they're both the negative and, and positive sides are on the right side. So, so this, this uh, measurement here is the same. This measurement is the same, it's just the height difference. This, the, this dark one is, looks like about an inch or so taller, which is fine. It's no, no big deal. The, the, the scooter that I had this on, the stock size battery is actually this battery right here as well. So, so it's good. So I'm going to stick this back into the scooter. Um, who cares about scooter weight, right? I want to get this CB down to sub sub 300 pounds. So with this battery, it's going to be um, uh, three. What was it again? Three, three oh nine. So it's going to be three oh nine. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, put this in. So I do have that little height difference. Um, you have that little height difference, so I have to figure figure, figure it out. See if see if I need to do anything. If, if I need to just like put something down here to basically shim it up, you know, which I think I need, I probably do need to do. Uh, actually, you know what? I probably don't need to do that. No, I don't need to do that. It's in there, but the positive cable could reach down, and the negative cable I will. Get it to reach down as well. Yeah, I, sh I should be okay. I think we're okay. Sweet. All right, let's put this in. So here's the uh, that little cable for the negative side. That little thing that clips in here. Let's clip that in. So the slot that, that it goes into. Actually, let's sting in first. It's kind of a pain because it goes. There it goes. Put this negative side in first here. I don't even think it needs it because this is uh, pretty up, pretty high. But the cable itself is actually down towards the bottom because this this actually helps push down the uh, the battery, so it doesn't uh, um, you know, so it, so it holds it a little bit better. See, I might not even need this, this this piece right here, but that means nothing will nothing is securing the battery. So so that means I have to like find something to. Uh, Take take up the space basically. Take up the room. So I want to leave the battery lower down because it's you know keep the center of gravity lower. Um, so I could take take something and put it in here. Maybe some like no, I don't because when you buy the buy the when you buy this battery, it actually comes with like a bunch of foam, like high density foam. Uh, but I think I threw all that away along you know five five years ago. So I don't have any of that stuff anymore. Um, 
I mean, here's the relay, starter relay. So I don't have the uh, foam anymore to take up the space. I have to figure something out, but even then, the bottom right here, uh, maybe I might find like a piece of PVC pipe and cut it to length and stick it down here. Um, and that, that, that will probably work. And yeah, you know what, that's, that's what I do. I get a section of PVC pipe, cut it to length, and just kind of shim it down here, and uh, that will hold down the, the battery. And that will make it, uh, it, should, you know, it should be good from that. See if I can connect the pot to the side. Actually, where's my screwdriver? My screwdriver in. Connect the positive, the negative, then uh, clamp it down. There's the positive side. So remember with batteries, you always connect the positive side first. That's a safety thing. This side first. Again, this battery's been in. No, this is the fifth pack now. Let's see. First Honda Elite uh, CB300F XSR900. Second Honda Elite. And yeah, so, so this is the fifth bike. But this battery's going in, and it's you know, it's, and this is this battery is. I bought this battery back in 2014, so it's so it's uh, five years old. Basically, it's a little bit over five years old. I actually bought it in the beginning, I think the beginning of 2014. Or, you know, or, you know, late, late winter, early spring, around that time. So I'm having a hard time getting this name of table on this loop here. I'm not sure why it needs it. I don't think it needs it because it's further down. Yeah, I don't think it needs it. I'm not going to use that loop. It's just further down and it's, um, it's not gonna. Um, it's gonna be kind of a stretch for the uh, for the cable, and it's gonna put pressure on that loop, and it probably, gonna, you know, being plastic, it's probably gonna break. See what you see? What I just did there with the screwdriver? I was actually turning it counterclockwise. Anytime you have threads, especially fine threads, you should always turn it counterclockwise. First to to let it uh, to let it seat and make sure it's it's in the proper in the proper grooves you know in the, the thread seat seat properly so that way it's not cross threaded then once once and you can feel that you can hear it and also feel it once that happens you could um, you could uh, spin it clockwise and and uh, and have it connect so that's good there that's mo not moving. So yeah, so now I just need to get a uh, like a PVC and uh, stick it in here. So I need to screw this down and I'm gonna, I'm gonna measure. And I'm gonna screw this down real quick and then I can measure it. I can measure the the, the bottom of this part right here to the uh, to the battery. Then I could just stick a little like a little PVC pipe down in there um, and I cut one to length. Uh, and I, I think that should work. I'm not sure what kind of PVC pipe I have laying around the house. I usually have like a couple of scrap sections that I could use for that. Um, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd probably leave it like this too. I mean, it's not really, it's not really moving. Um, yeah, it's not really moving. Let me try to lift it up. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty hard to lift up. So actually, I might not even, let me push it down, wedge it in there. I think this this battery dimensionally it's you know it's it's actually it might be slightly bigger than the the the, the stock battery just like a few millimeters so I think I could just push it down and wedge it and it'd probably be okay Let's see if I can lift it up again oh yeah that took some effort to lift it up so I think I'll be okay unless you know unless I crash unless you crash then this thing would would you know probably go flying or or at least it'll hit here. I think I, I think it's actually okay like this. Um, well, it is pretty much self-contained. It's not really going anywhere. Right, it's not really going anywhere. So it should be good. I think you know what? I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna put the. This is kind of roundly. I'm not sure if I like that. I don't think I'm gonna put the PVC pipe. Or I might. Let me think about it. 
I'm gonna think about it. Uh, so I think that's it. So previous pipe or not? Oh this, oh, this is cool. This thing actually lifts up and down to lock in place. Um, How it goes in, in and out. Well, yeah, so that's it. Um, yeah, so I basically saved four pounds. Four pounds off the front. Uh, so three oh nine. 309 pounds which is 3 313 um, okay that's it thanks for watching